Hey guys, welcome to Happy Wax TV. Uh, I just want to apologize, first of all, I've only put one video out in the last week. I've just been busy, uh, you know, kids got sports, work's really busy right now, so, and I don't monetize this channel um, to make money off it. I have an actual real job that I that I do. I just, I just do this because I love uh, horror movies and all the stuff that goes along with it. So, um, anyways, yeah, so I just throw these videos up when I, I can. Um, so yeah, I just want to apologize because I uh, haven't put any videos up in a week. And actually the last one I put up was a, a Blu-ray haul. So and you guys really seem to like that. So and I went this week and got more Blu-rays from my favorite place on the planet. The beat goes on. These guys treat me really good. They hold a lot of movies for me, um, you know, because they know I can only get there a couple times a week. So um, it's nice to actually go in there and have them, you know, have stuff in the back for me. So it's just, I really appreciate that. So I thought I'd give them a shout out. So Beat Goes On, London, Ontario. Thanks guys. Um, you know, I can't say enough about you. Anyways, let's get into it before I start rambling too much. Oh, first of all, yeah, it's second, sorry, not first of all. Second of all, I just want to say thanks to all the new subscribers um, that came along this week. Um, you know, keep posting your comments. Let me know if you like this sort of stuff. Um, you know, the Blu-ray hauls and, and my trailer reviews and all that shit. Um, I got some other good stuff coming up this week too. Um, there's a, a, a list that just went up of the top 30 horror movies that are coming out for 2018. So I thought in the next video, I'll just sit down and quickly go through them all and give you my opinion. Cause God knows I'm, I like to give my fucking opinion. So, and I'll let you know what I think about the, all the upcoming horror movies coming out for 2018. So anyways, guys, okay. Blu-ray haul, DVD haul, whatever you want to call it. So first off, um, demons. Um, I have three copies of this now. I fucking, I love this movie. The first one demons. Um, I am not a huge fan of Italian horror. Uh, I know I'm going to, get raked over the coals for saying that I, I just don't care for most of it I think a lot of it's shit and a lot of it's boring but that's just my opinion but anyways Demons uh, is in my top five movies of all time when I was a kid along with Dawn of the Dead uh, Heavy Metal Jaws uh, Phantasm this was one of the movies I would watch repeatedly and it just so happens that it's a double disc and it's got Demons 2 on there which was not very fucking good but demons is on there and that movie is fucking awesome if you haven't seen the movie demons crawl out from under the fucking rock you've been living under and find it and watch it because it is i mean the soundtrack is awesome and the movie itself is is fucking fantastic so uh find it watch it and thank me later oh chuck norris <laughs> i fucking love chuck norris there's a few movies I went to see as a kid uh, with my dad at the theater. This is one of them. Um, the first movie I, I ever saw at the theater with my dad was Star Wars. I was sold on that series. Like, I mean, when that fucking battle cruiser flies onto the screen for the first time, I mean, how do you not get goosebumps? But I'll tell you, seeing Chuck Norris back in the day, uh, you know, with his karate moves and, and kicking ass and stuff, this movie was awesome. And I can't remember for the life of me what the bad guy's name in this movie was but he was fucking awesome. I, I loved the final fight scene between the two of them. This, other than the fight with Bruce Lee and I think the Fist of Fury, this is my favorite Chuck Norris movie. Love this octagon. If you haven't seen it, find it. Thank me later, because it's, it's fucking incredible. And uh, quickly, I want to say thanks again to The Beat Goes On, because a lot of times I can only get in there a couple times a week, and I think they know that. So when, um, you know, classics like this uh, get traded in, they hold them for me. This is the return to Newcomb High. Love my trauma movies. Uh, this thing is a fucking classic. Um, if you haven't seen it, um, find it, watch it. Again, it's just one of those movies. It's a, a bloody schlocky fucking mess of a great movie. You will fucking love it. Just watch it. Midnight Special. Man, anything Michael Shannon in, is in, I fucking love. Uh, it's just the guy can do no wrong he's a great actor this movie was a diamond in the rough for me um i didn't know a lot about the movie when i saw it but goddamn was it fucking good and he just kills it in this movie i don't want to give too much away if you haven't seen this movie it's, but pretty much his son has like powers and the army wants to get a hold of him so he's trying to protect his son um who else is in this movie uh, adam driver 
who's Kylo Ren is in this, uh, Sam Shepard, and then Kirsten Dunst uh, is in this movie as well. But man, if you haven't seen this, find it. It's called Midnight Special. It is fantastic. And now I own it on Blu-ray. I'm su actually surprised I didn't get this one sooner, but um, yeah, now that I have it, I'm going to be definitely watching it. Oh, what else we got here? Okay, so <laughs> I'm a huge Phantasm fan. I don't know if you can see my arm there, but um, I got the tall man on my forearm there. I am huge, hugely in love with the Phantasm series. Um, and this is the original movie. I have, I don't know, probably eight to 10 copies of this. Um, you know, different versions and steel books and DVDs and VHS. Anyways, this is the remastered version that just came out. Well, it didn't just come out, but came out a little while ago. And uh, <laughs> I just saw it. I, I think I already have a copy of this, but I got it anyways just because I figured, fuck it, if I can own it, then I'll just get it and someone else can't have it. So <laughs> anyways, but if you have not seen the Phantasm series, just what the fuck? Like watch it. I mean, especially, you don't have to watch the whole series. Just watch the first movie. I mean, the first movie and you'll be hooked. Like these, this movie is so good. I can't tell you enough how good the Phantasm movie is. Just watch it and you will fucking love it. Um, this movie was a surprise to me. I, why it was on the fucking shelf. In fact, I, I know if I didn't pick this up, it was going to be gone. So I think I came in at the right time. Uh, Tim Ritter's Killing Spree. He's kind of a, like a, I don't know. He's like a gore splatter guy. And this movie is fucking awesome. Um, I remember seeing it when I was younger and I, I loved it. Um, I don't even remember where I saw it. I think it was Scream TV back in the day when it was uh, like the, I think it was Scream TV, I'm pretty sure. But anyways, I saw it and then I kind of forgot about it because you just couldn't find this movie anywhere. And I walked in and it was fucking sitting on the shelf and I was like, what is this doing here? So I, I immediately grabbed it. Um, I'm gonna watch this probably tonight. <laughs> I may do a movie review on it. So the good thing about this movie is it's so fucking bloody and gory and over the top and it's all practical. There's no CGI. It's, you know, when heads get stomped and eyeballs, it's all fucking practical. It's so fucking awesome and it's so cheesy and it's so good. If you can find it, find it and watch it. Killing Spree, it is, it is wonderful to watch. Okay, um, yeah, so now we're gonna get into my steel books. We love, or we know how I love my steel books. Even if the movies aren't good, I'm still gonna buy them just because I love steel books. I don't know why, but I have an addiction to them. So, but all these movies I got were really good th this week. So anyways, this one's Serenity. Um, I didn't know anything about this movie. I knew it was a TV show, uh, Firefly. Uh, I never saw an episode. Uh, when this movie came out, I didn't really wanna see it, but after reading um, how many fans um, came on board to try and petition to get the Firefly series back on the air. I thought, well, fuck, I got to see this movie to see what all the hype's about. And I'll tell you, this movie is fucking actually pretty good. Um, if you haven't seen it, uh, find it and watch it because it's uh, it's actually a pretty good sci-fi movie. And now I own it on Steelbook. Okay, this movie got me. I was, you know, jokes on me. When I walked in and I saw this sitting on the shelf, especially, first of all, Steelbook, and I thought it was the original Piranha. And I was like, what the fuck? I didn't even realize they put this out in the steel book. But <laughs> when I got it home and opened it up, I realized, oh, wait a minute, this is the fucking remake. But you know what? That's not a bad thing because the remake is awesome too. I'm not a huge fan of remakes, but you know what? This is a bloody, gory, funny movie. And one of the few remakes that they actually, I think did right because they, they knew it wasn't a movie to be taken seriously. And they, it, it's filmed that way, you know what I mean? And you laugh a little bit and the, the blood and the gore is fucking retarded. It's just, it's crazy. So I'm actually glad I found this. So it was good. It's not the original like I thought it was, it's the remake, but you know what, Steel Book, and I now own it. Another remake um, that isn't on my list of <laughs> remakes that I like is Robocop. Um, this movie isn't that bad, but it's still Peter Weller's Robocop is a classic and really this movie shouldn't like it never should have been remade. Um, I, I kind of like what they did with the new Robocop, but didn't do well at the box office at all. And that's, I'm, as, you know, much as I shouldn't say it, it's a good thing because I don't think they're going to make any more of these. Thank God, because really the original Robocop series is fucking amazing. And Peter Weller is the Robocop, not whoever this new guy is. Um, yeah, although I do like his suit. I mean, I think they did a good job with his suit, but uh, you know, Peter Weller is, is always gonna be Robocop. Okay, so this movie, Kong, Skull Island. I have this on Blu-ray. I now own it on fucking Steelbook. Listen, 
This movie got pretty bad reviews at the, the theater from the fucking mainstream critics. You know what? Fuck off, because this was a great movie. I fucking love this movie. Now, it wasn't the best movie I've ever seen, but I mean, it was way better than what they were saying. You know what I mean? And I love how they jacked up King Kong to get him ready for his, you know, eventual fight with Godzilla in 2020. So I, I, I don't know. I thought this movie was great, and I thought King Kong looked fantastic in this movie. So, fuck you to all the critics that said it wasn't a good movie because I'm saying it is a good movie, and I now own the Steel Book. Okay, this one's not really a horror movie, but it's Quentin Tarantino. That's all I really need to say. It's The Hateful Eight. If you haven't seen this movie, find it and watch it because it's fucking awesome. And lastly, Ghostbusters. Fucking awesome movie. I think I own eight versions of this. This is a hand-painted steel bookcase. Um, I just, I loved it, so. Anyways, there's my Blu-ray haul. My batteries are gonna die on my fucking camera, so I better hurry up. So anyways, guys, thank you. Uh, let me know if you like these episodes. Make sure you subscribe. Um, hit the stupid bell icon and uh, yeah, if you like these, I'll get more coming and because I buy Blu-rays every week. And until next time, stay scared.